about 2016, it was a big year. You uh, retained some Paralympic titles. How was that for you? Yeah, 2016 was, was a big year. Obviously, it's been kind of the culmination of the last four years and kind of all the, all the work that we've put in. So to, to win two golds and, and break two world records was, was great. And, you know, that, that's what we worked hard for and that's kind of the goal that, that we'd set after London. So it's, it's nice to have, the, have set that goal and then everything come together. And yeah, it was just the most amazing, amazing 10 days out in Rio. And obviously when you came back to the UK and we had the parades, how was your success, um, how was that received? How were you received by, by people at home, by people in the UK? Mm. Yeah, it's been really positive actually. I think after, after London, kind of the legacy and the momentum that, that was built, I think a lot of people feared and probably expected that it would, it would just kind of fizzle out and you know, Rio would just be an, another Games. Um, but I think, you know, particularly the parades and kind of everything that came after it kind of shows that it's it's just going to keep going and that, that ball's going to keep rolling and it's just the sport's just going to continue to grow and grow. And obviously we're, we're now into 2017, time's mm -hmm. moving on. You've got back into training, tell us where you're at with that. Yeah, I kind of, I, got, I took a break after Rio, took, took a few months off just to kind of recharge the batteries and kind of assess where I wanted to go and, and just moving forward what I wanted to do. Um, so we, we got back in the pool and into some kind of routine in, in January and we've just kind of been building building through really. Um, had a few few ups and downs, uh, a few niggles, but kind of working through them and just, I guess the focus for the next next couple of weeks and the next couple of months leading into April is just to, to get fit again and just to get in, in some shape to be able to race, race fast. And obviously looking ahead to the rest of 2017, you, you've got uh, the Power International meet mm -hmm. in April, and then obviously the, the British Summer Championships in in the summer. Um, what what are your targets for those? Yeah, I think the British Summers in July is probably the main one this this season, just because it's the the trial meet for for Worlds and for Comic Games next year. Um, so that's that's kind of the one that we're focusing on, which is of course a little bit different than previous years with the, the trials being in April. Um, so I think it, it's probably worked out well um, having the British International in, in April just to kind of just see where I'm at really. It'll be the, the first time I've raced since since Rio. So just getting getting used to being in that environment again. Um, and hopefully by then I'll be in a little bit better shape and just, just see where I'm at really. And then we, we know what we need to work on for July. And uh, we might think we've only just finished um, and got over Rio and, uh, and got back into training, but is, uh, is Tokyo something you're looking towards in, in three three years' time? Yeah, I think so. I think you know you, you kind of have that end goal, and you you need to keep that in your mind. And you know I'm committed for for another three years at least to Tokyo. Um, so I'd, I guess it's just about assessing what's what's best for for that long term goal. Um, I want to obviously go to Tokyo and, and try and win gold medals again, so that's, that's kind of the end goal.